A lot of folks, when they meet clergy, ask them if they had that moment of calling, that moment where they felt that they had to do what they do with their lives. And so I'm going to tell you about that moment, what it was for me. So my first year of college came time for Passover, and I decided, you know, the first night I'm going to stay on campus and I'm going to be with my friends. But the second night I've got to go home and spend that time with my family. So I went home and I had just a simple Seder with my parents and my sisters. But for the first time, something weird happened. My dad seated the head of the table to me and let me lead the Seder. And it was just a normal Seder. We talked about the exodus from Egypt, of course. We did the four questions. It was really lovely. But what was really important is what happened after. So after the Seder, my parents were in the kitchen doing the dishes. I don't know why they were doing the dishes. I should have been doing the dishes, but they were doing the dishes. And I heard my mom say to my dad, I think Dan's going to become a rabbi. And as it was if the universe, you might say God, was speaking to me through my mom. And I felt this electricity run through my body as if all of the experiences of my life up to that point were pointing me in this one direction. The magnetic heart of my internal compass pointed forward to rabbinical school. And I hope that as any of us have epiphanies throughout our lives, those moments where we feel the universe speaking to us, that we are able to have that sense of greater connection, that broader sense of a world beyond. <laughs>